Our hair dye's really that bad for you? Like, I'm dying to know. Hair dyes can be harmful to your health, but it really depends on the type of dye and how often you use it. Permanent and semi-permanent dyes contain chemicals that can cause cancer, such as aromatic amines and phenols. These chemicals react with hydrogen peroxide to create a lasting color. And darker dyes tend to use more of them, so there is some concern. Studies have looked at the use of hair dye and its link to cancer, such as bladder cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, and even breast cancer. The results are mixed. Some older dyes used before the 1980s were found to contain carcinogenic compounds. But many of these have since been removed. A large Harvard study found no overall increase in cancer risk from using permanent dye. But there was a slight increase in specific cancers like basal cell carcinoma and Hodgkin lymphoma, especially in women with naturally dark hair. The most common issue with hair dye is skin reactions, including contact dermatitis. This is often triggered by a chemical called PPD, or paraphenylenidine, which is found in many dyes. Symptoms include itching, swelling, and discoloration, especially on the scalp, face, and neck. If you're a hairdresser or stylist, you may be at higher risk due to prolonged contact and inhalation of the fumes. So do a patch test before using any new hair dye product. And consider going for ammonia-free, PPD-free or natural dyes. And always wear gloves and ensure proper ventilation when applying hair dye.